the lcm model that we discussed in this course consists of multiple elements and orchestration guidelines that can help you dynamically adapt it for particular requirements many creators of moocs and online courses have been telling us that this is quite resource intensive applying lcm model to a course whether online or a mooc or even in hybrid classrooms requires lot of time effort of the instructor maybe some technology support and overall it requires lot of resources therefore the online course creators keep complaining that lcm model is quite demanding and therefore we refrain from attempting to apply it we were thinking about these options a lot and all of us thought that why not kind of discuss this as part of our summary section of the course here is a reflection spot imagine that i am a first time online course creator or a mooc creator i will have learning dialogues to be created with reflection spots i'll have learning by doing activities to be added for every led that i am creating i will have to provide customized feedback i will look for some reference material that can be given at as lxts and i will also plan some discussion forum activities all these have been orchestrated the way that i think would be meaningful to my learners if i have to follow this process what do you think would be the problems now here pause the video and list down what all could be the problems that you'll face when you have to implement this kind of course creation whenever you are done just resume welcome back i'm sure all of you have a long list of challenges we have to think of a point in our script where we can introduce a reflection spot we can write a summary and that could be quite a exhaustive affair itself providing customized constructive feedback to every learning by doing activity that we have designed thinking of focus questions for every discussion forum that we are kind of introducing in the course or finding out meaningful reference material which can be converted to learning extension trajectories along with a assimilation quiz for that all these things are quite daunting well look at the brighter side each and every element of the lcm model is self contained or self sufficient why do i say so i say this because if you just look at a element like led a learning dialog without the reflection spot could not be learner centric but the moment i add a reflection spot after a particular point then add a summary to cover all possible answers is actually closing the loop for me therefore even if i add led to my course creation we realized that this itself will be a micro step towards achieving learner centric approaches it is therefore we now introduce something called as lcm light what is lcm light lcm light is a process where you can add 1 2 3 4 or all five elements of the learner centric mooc model to your course as per the availability of resources and time that you have there is one more factor that you should consider you should consider applying the particular lcm elements based on the requirement of your course what does your content require and to elaborate that i will give you few examples let's take a example of a course which is based on case studies 
in this course we can introduce lots of lxts which would be presented in the form of text or videos or audios or a combination of all of these supported by learning by doing activities we probably don't require leds which will have a reflection spot and so on and so forth or we also don't need probably lot of discussion here so we can drop led and lxi and just can create a course based on lxts and lbds let's take another example imagine a course which is based on some practical hands on content to be disseminated now since we have to explain the creation of certain products or processes we can take leds as one of the element that is required here create excellent videos having good quality reflection spots and it will give a visual information required for the practical hands on training that we want to impart support this with lbds which will be hands on activities to see whether the people who are taking the course can actually tell us whether they have understood it so this can be another model let's take one more example which has open ended theoretical content now we can start with meaningful leds which can have reflection spots and we can explain the content that is required to be consumed by people through high quality videos and reflection spots to make them learning dialogues we can support that with additional reading material which could be again in the form of videos or text or audios or a combination of that even websites simulations so on and so forth however we can avoid giving lbds to them instead add lxis to the course that will ensure that if we post a focus question and ask the learners to post their responses to it and these can be in terms of some submissions that maybe i have written this piece and others can peers can actually interact with them and give feedback so on and so forth so this can be a combination of led plus lxt plus lxi and we actually drop lbd but rather dropping instead of dropping it we hide it under lxi maybe so it's a discussion forum activity where people are posting getting feedback and peers are interacting with them because it's a theoretical course as you have seen there could be multiple ways in which we can actually have permutations and combinations of the elements that are available to us and use the orchestration dynamics of my information about the course and the content to take such decisions we suggest that you explore the version of lcm light further and try to see if you can come up with ideas for implementing the elements of lcm model for creating your own content thank you